Hey everybody, NCP. The first melt was a success. Um, lost slag. I, I don't know what I did with my uh, my metal rod I was going to use for my slag, but I just melted uh, some grates from an uh, old microwave when I replaced the kitchen. We got uh, one piece out full of slag. Um, that's all it was. It was more of a test firing. No real plan for any of the metal, but I made one ingot, and I can take care of that in the next... Uh, Next firing. This is about adjusting the uh, valve and everything. That seemed to be good there. So I got to read up on foundries because I just don't remember. Because in school, everything was set for me. Put it in there, turned it on. Sound like a jet engine. This was considerably quieter. Maybe that one was forced air in school. I don't know. That was a long time ago. A long time ago. But this is the one ingot we got today. And like I said, that's just. It was just a test. I mean, that stuff was dirty aluminum. Uh, a lot of the aluminum I got on my storage uh, was magnetic, so I guess that's not my aluminum. It's probably 10. Maybe steel, I don't know. Pretty light, pretty thin steel, but I've got the engine parts from my old uh, my old Toyota 22RE engine from the old head and all that stuff, so I'll just go ahead and chop that up. Uh, probably the saw saw or something and put it in there, little pieces and put it in there, but we'll see. But I just want to get the test firing now. Uh, I didn't temper the furnace. Uh, they said, or the uh, crucible, they said just go ahead and burn it. So we'll see what happens. If I screwed it up, it's 20 bucks. So whatever. I use my, my welding gear um, to protect me. There's no face gear there, apparently. That's all right. You know, eyes grow back, right? So anyway, this video is not from the burn ward, which is good. Have no idea how much propane we did, I used. Um, this propane regulator, it just sets up 220 PSI. I opened it all the way up and, uh, yeah, burned it. Set it there, had yellow flames. I think it's supposed to be blue. I'm not sure. I think yellow flames means not consuming the oxygen or it was. I'm not sure. I gotta look it up. But it worked, but I think we probably wasted some fuel. Like I said, I don't know what to do here. I'm not, I haven't done this. And like I said, 30 something years. And when I did, it was all set up in school for me. So, yeah. But, had a good time. <laughs> um, now we're going to do some lost PLA casting. Oops. Oh, jeez. Um, <clears throat> I made some errors in calculations. I forgot that aluminum shrinks. Derp, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to reprint that piece I need for the, the camera hinge. And, uh, I'm gonna add, I guess, three percent, and then I'll just, I'll just mill off with the, the drill press any extra. But I think that'll be just fine. So that's where we are. I'm just letting it cool down naturally, as opposed to, you know, I don't know. But well, I'll get the last PLA. I'll, I'll try to make that tomorrow, and then we gotta let it set, and then we gotta burn it out. So I was gonna use a barbecue to burn it out with a um, turkey fryer, maybe. We'll see. Or grade a turkey fryer and just let it burn out over this pit here. I'm going to do a lot of my stuff out here. I don't know if this is good or not. Uh, I need to level that out and put the better bricks down there. Uh, like I said, I don't do outdoor fires, but I won't be using this fire pit. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. All right, that's NCP. This is it for today. I hope everybody has a great day. And if you do smelting at home, please uh, educate me on my mistakes. Other than, you know, I know I needed a slag, a uh, thing to remove slag. I didn't pour hot metal on a cold metal mold. I heated that up first. Um, the flames were yellow, orange, I guess. So, I don't know. All right, this is NCP. Uh, have a good one, everybody.